This is a uh, Norsey Wood, which is a beautiful uh, nature reserve in Billericay, Essex. And uh, we were asked to build a, a timber barn, which uh, has a couple of green roofs on it. Um, we built the, the, the main structures out of larch, UK larch. And the interesting play thing about this place is that it's a heritage site. It's, uh, from an archaeological, uh, archaeological point of view, we couldn't dig down and put a foot in, so we had to create a mass of concrete using these precast uh, trucks. Um, so these are just the plastic trucks with a steel um, plate in them, filled with concrete, turned upside down. Thanks to our mate Dan, uh, who put us onto that. So that does the job of kind of creating some mass at the base to give us some rigidity and to give us some weight when we're loading on the wind. Um, so yeah, all large. And then the floor, this stuff here is uh, recycled um, forklift tires. Yeah. Um, so it's uh, a, a nice recycled product and gives a good safe space for the kids inside. We obviously had to have bee things. So these are lots of bee stuff made out of um, coppiced uh, sweet chestnut from a uh, local woodland. Um, so we've got two panels, uh, triangular panels, and they fit inside these steel cross braces, which give us the rigidity to the building and also make the building nice and open because it, it, without these, we'd have had to closed in some panels. And then we've got a kind of a double roof. So this roof above here, which is the flat roof, we've made into a wetland. Uh, so that's got a 50 mil raise on the outlet in the liner. So that means 50 mil of water stays on that roof before it discharges out the outlet. And then we've got a pitch roof, which is obviously a much drier um, and, and, and more standard sort of green roof. Okay, another one of the triangular panels in the bracing on the Norseywood uh, barn. So we've got bird box, great tip, blue tip size hole. Then we've got some sheep's wool, uh, which is uh, there for nesting. Uh, and we usually include that on, on all our buildings. Uh, bee habitat and some uh, bark, uh, just for invertebrate and hibernation space. Uh, so this is at the north side of the building. Um, and, uh, and then we've got, if you come through here, this is the inside. Uh, and we put a, a big, generous back box up on the roof as well, um, just to create a bit more habitat in the space. Okay, so we're on the roof now. This is Norsey Wood Barn that we've just built. Um, we're really, uh, we're really pleased with it because we've managed to create a, a wetland roof on the flat roof, and we've managed to create a standard sort of green roof on the pitch roof, and. These kind of temporary wetlands, which is what in effect this will be. So this will dry out in the summer for sure, and then it will re-wet. Um, we've lifted the outlet about 50 mil so that you get two inches of water in here at least before it discharges out. Um, and uh, these kind of habitats, these temporary wetland habitats are really important and you, you don't see them created all that much. Um, so you end up with this, which is 50 mil of water, which is kind of lovely. So there'll be, oh, there might have been pond life in there. I might have just destroyed that. But you also get these kind of muddy banks um, and there's a there's honeybees around here already just picking up moisture from that kind of damp little area. And there's already stuff going on in this bit of water and this has only been here for maybe two or three weeks. So that's really exciting stuff. And the species here are all from the park. Um, it's a triple SI site so we had to use species that were already here. Um, so there's a quite a nice mix of wetland species in here. And then um, we've got the standard pitch roof, which is a bit steeper than we normally do because we wanted to try and get some light in between the two roofs. So this is about 16 degrees. Um, and here again, we've got species that are um, local to the park. Um, so a kind of weird mix that we wouldn't normally use, but I'm hoping with a little bit of shade and we've planted stuff you know, the, the, the stuff that needs a bit more moisture down the bottom, obviously, and some of the species like wild carrot and mouse here at the top here that need a bit drier. Uh, because this top edge is going to be very dry on the top. All the timber larch, like we said. And uh, it's just so cool to have an opportunity to build something like this in public space for, for everyone to be able to use. Uh, and uh, many thanks to Steve Pruer, who pushed it through and got it, uh, got the funding for it. So a good project and a really exciting project for us.